Hey there, econ enthusiasts. Economics. It's a word that gets thrown around a lot, often met with groans or blank stares, but trust me, it's way more exciting than its reputation suggests. At its core, economics is about choices. It's about figuring out how we use our limited resources to satisfy our unlimited wants. Think about it. Time, money, those delicious cookies your grandma makes, they're all scarce. Economics helps us understand how we make decisions in a world where we can't have everything we desire. It's like a roadmap for navigating the world of what-ifs and trade-offs. Let's say you've got 10 bucks burning a hole in your pocket. Do you buy that awesome new video game or do you save up for that sweet new phone? Economics helps us understand why we make these choices, the factors that influence us, and the ripple effects these decisions have on the world around us. So buckle up, because we're diving headfirst into the fascinating world of economics. We'll learn how to think like economists, decipher those confusing graphs, and most importantly, understand the forces that shape our daily lives. Ready to get your econ on? Let's go. In economics, we often zoom in and out to get different perspectives. Think of it like Google Maps. Sometimes you need the big picture, other times you're searching for the nearest coffee shop. That's where microeconomics and macroeconomics come in. Microeconomics is all about the little guys, individual consumers, businesses and markets. It's like peeking into the everyday decisions we make, what to buy, how much to charge for our products, or how many people to hire. For example, imagine you're opening a lemonade stand. Microeconomics would help you figure out the best price for your lemonade, how much sugar to use, and how many cups you need to sell to make a profit. Macroeconomics, on the other hand, zooms out to look at the entire economy of a country, or even the whole world. It grapples with big picture issues like inflation, unemployment, and economic growth. Think of it as studying the ocean, not just individual waves. For instance, macroeconomists might analyze why prices are rising across the board, or how government policies affect job creation. They are like the economic detectives, trying to solve the mysteries of booms and busts. Here's a mind-blowing concept. Every time we make a choice, we're also choosing to do something else. This, my friends, is the essence of opportunity cost. The value of the next best alternative we give up when we make a decision. Let's say you decide to binge watch your favorite show all weekend. Sounds amazing, right? But hold on. What if you had dedicated that time to finally finishing that painting you started or learning how to play the guitar? The opportunity cost of your TV marathon is the potential enjoyment and satisfaction you could have gained from those other activities. Opportunity cost isn't about money, it's about value, what matters most to you. It's the constant trade-off we face in a world of limited time and resources. Understanding opportunity cost is crucial for making smart decisions. It forces us to consider what we're giving up and whether it's worth the potential gains. So, the next time you're faced with the choice, remember to ask yourself what's the opportunity cost of saying yes. Scarcity. It's not just a fancy word economists like to throw around, it's the fundamental problem that underpins all of economics. Simply put, scarcity means we have unlimited wants but limited resources to fulfill them. Think about it, we all want a big house, a fancy car, and endless vacations, right? But there's only so much land, oil, and time in the world. And that's where things get interesting. Scarcity forces us to make choices. Do we use our limited resources to build more houses or produce more food? Do we invest in renewable energy or stick with fossil fuels? These are the tough questions that societies grapple with every day. And it's not just about physical resources. Time is also scarce. We have only 24 hours in a day and we can't spend those hours doing everything we want. We have to prioritize, make trade-offs, and accept that we can't have it all. This constant tension between unlimited wants and limited resources is what makes economics so fascinating. It's a puzzle we're always trying to solve, finding creative ways to allocate our scarce resources to maximize our well-being. 